Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to tell you about uh, the project ideas related to SQL. Uh, if you practice uh, enough projects in SQL, then you will get clarity and you will have a uh, strong uh, basics about uh, SQL. You can try, the, try out these projects. So let us uh, see what are the projects you can try out in SQL. So here is the first project which is a, a library management system. You can try out this project. This is generally an uh, online library management which offers you user friendly way of issuing books and also viewing different books and uh, titles available under a category likewise. So this type of management information system like uh, uh, can be easily developed in uh, ASP.NET using uh, C Sharp and SQL queries uh, which enables us to a quick retrieval of the required information likewise ok. So take this example of your college library where uh, both teachers and also students can issue books. Uh, usually the uh, number of days within which you have to return the book varies for both, both the groups like uh, uh, like uh, also each book has a unique ID even if they are copies of the same book by the same author uh, then unique ID will be there. So a library management system has an entry for every book. So capturing who has issued it uh, to capture who has issued it they will have an entry book. So the issue duration and the amount of fine. So if, if there is an amount of fine then it will be in that place. So likewise the uh, details of all these things we can uh, have in our tables like uh, the things we can uh, implement by using the SQL. This is one of the project you can try if you have enough knowledge about SQL uh, related things. So let's see the next project. Here is the next project which is a uh, student uh, database management. Similarly you can do the uh, student record keeping project like uh, if database could contain a general student information such as like a name, address, contact information, uh, like admission year you can say and next courses he has taken so etc. like the student related information and also attendance file marks or uh, any result files like fee files, scholarship file etc. related to student information. This was uh, nothing but an auto generated student database streamlines uh, the university admission process a, to a considerable degree. Likewise you can uh, make this uh, student database management. And next uh, comes to third one is which is a centralized college database we can uh, implement that is uh, where uh, a college has many academic departments such as uh, uh, department of English, department of mathematics, department of history and department of different branches are there and so on. So and each of the departments offers a variety of courses right uh, yeah and now in any uh, for example an instructor can teach more than one course like right any uh, lecturer can take more than one course. Let us say if a professor, uh, let us take if a uh, professor takes a class on statistics and uh, also on calculus. So professor can take more than one course like uh, statistics and calculus. Likewise you can implement a uh, centralized college database like is a, a student in the mathematics department you can enroll in both of the courses. Therefore every college course have a, a number any number of students can have register in the one course. Likewise um, here is one important point to note that is a particular course can have only one instructor to avoid overlaps. So uh, keep this point remember. So use only one instructor uh, to avoid such overlappings right. So next one you can also implement in the SQL is a hospital management system. And it is generally a web, uh, web based system or software uh, that enables us to manage the functioning of hospital like or any medical shop or setups you can say. It creates a systematic and uh, uh, standardized records of patients and doctors and rooms uh, and uh, which can be controlled only by the administrator not by the normal people like uh, I mean uh, customers or we can say patients or anything. So all patients and doctor will have a unique and uh, that will be related in the database depending upon the ongoing treatments or likewise. So also there will be a separate modules for the hospital administration, student discharges summary like duties of nurses and ward boys and medical stores like uh, you can have different tables and you can join them uh, so make a connection between them. You can implement these kind of things uh, like hospital management system in a uh, SQL uh, database right. 
so uh, next we can implement this railway system database also we can implement then the sql like uh, in this database system you need to have a model a uh, different uh, train stations like uh, railway tracks between connecting stations like the train details train details means have a unique number for each train right uh, next uh, uh, rail routes we can write in the schedule of the trains and passenger booking information so likewise the things you can include in that uh, database system so to simplify our project you can assume that all trains run every day and have only one day journey to their respective destinations so that will be easy if you consider this type of case okay uh, next uh, as for uh, as per recording you can focus on storing the values of de details for each and every station on a rail route okay in time or uh, in time means when the train arrives at the station out time when the train leaves the station so this will be same as in in time because if train doesn't ha halt at the station it will not uh, stop at the station right so it will uh, in and out so this type of things you can mention like station se uh, sequential number like the order of the station in the route and how many stations will be there in the order like this so this uh, database can be uh, implemented by using sql like railway system database what are the related uh, things can be related to that you can include so for uh, finally uh, you have you can implement another project that is a uh, blood donation database in this database you can store uh, interrelated data on the patients like a uh, blood donors and blood banks likewise you can store and you can take a, a queue of uh, uh, data points given below like uh, uh patient's name unique id and uh, blood group and diseases like this type of uh, related da uh, data from the patients and uh, from donors also you can write like a donor's name unique id blood group medical report address contact number so like the things and uh, from uh, a blood banks you can write your uh, blood bank from which blood bank uh, you are getting the blood from uh, so name of that blood bank and address and blood bank donor details like name address contact number now you can try to implement the same in the database by creating a schema and entity relationship diagram and then attempt to normalizing it so that will be helpful for you not only these things you can also implement the uh, payroll management system uh, by using the sql database so it is one of the most preferred sql database project ideas because due to its uh, extensive usage across industries industries use this payroll management at high level right uh, any organization salary management system calculates the monthly pay taxes and social security of its employees right it computes the salary using employee data like name and designation and pay scale benefits he has so etc this kind of employee data and uh, attendance records and including the leaves taken by the employee so this data they can take and calculate the payroll likewise so then based upon the certain formulas and uh, the uh, software generated outputs in the form of uh, bank files and salary slips we will get so similarly a tax file is created by the tax office and uh, stored in database so based upon this payrolls and related data you can um, take into consideration you can implement this sql uh, uh, database by uh, for this payroll management system oh uh, finally you will have an uh, oh finally you can also implement this uh, inventory control management so inventory control is the process of ensuring that a business maintains an adequate stock of materials and uh, products to meet the customer demand or without any delay right so both overstocking and understocking situations are undesirable so uh, not to be high uh, stocks and not to be low stocks right and the aim is to uh, maximize profitability like profit to be maximized right by keeping inventory at the optimum level